In other news, Ben and Jerry's ice cream, no stranger to involvement in social justice issues, now taking a hard stance on the Israel-Palestinian conflict. The dessert dealer announcing that it will not be renewing its licensing agreement with its Israeli franchisee in protest against the franchisee's continued sale to the occupied territories and settlements. Hashem! Hashem! Stop selling or decide not to sell to a customer. Welcome to the Ben Ben Show, another cool and relaxed edition, me and Sebastian just kicking back. Um, just for uh, clarification, that was not an official kippah or yarmulke, that was a tea doily. I could not find the real thing, and just for, you know, uh, sake of legal issues, I just wanted to make that clear. It's not an officially licensed doc a doctrined uh, um, kosher kippah or yarmulke. It was a tea doily, um, tasteful, and worked for the sake of the bit. Because you don't need to have the real thing to do the bit. You don't need to be paraplegic to play a paraplegic. You don't need to be black. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe you do. Black face is just, that doesn't work. But other things. You can be, I don't know, a man playing a woman, like Shakespearean times, or uh, Castrados, or uh, Michael Jackson. Um, yeah, the, Mr. Jackson just cut his balls off so he can go, oh, hey, hey. Um, and, uh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Because the child, did he get, it's kind of interesting. Because in that, in that case, a child can say he's trans and go along that route. But ultimately, that choice is the choice of the parent, sort of, as long as they go along with it. If they don't, the kid is taken away from the person's house, the parent's house. And the state then pays her as gender reassignment surgery. But in the case of Mike, anyway, um, yeah, so uh, Israel uh, banning, um, uh, Ben and Jerry's banning sales of their, you know, lovely pistachio, Cherry Garcia, I think all of the flavors, in the West Bank and East Jerusalem uh, in protest of, uh, um, of uh, Israel's occupancy of the West Bank and um, uh, the Palestinian settlements. But, you know, frankly, Sebastian, this is how I see it. The Jews are just real estate developers. They're just, you know, they're just, you know, playing the game, capitalism. They're trying to build skyscrapers and make money. And these Palestinians are acting like a bunch of twink fucks getting in the way. Hey, pay your rent, you fucks. What do you think? What do you think this is, a free lunch? It's economics. We're buying up, we're building, we're, we're improving the neighborhood. We're raising the property value. Get with it, motherfuckers. Stop acting like a little bitch. We're just trying to, be, we're trying to make bank, bro. Skyscrapers. Put Trump on the front, man. Trump, Trump Jewish, you know, skyscrapers, capitalism, why not? Trump, Trump West Bank. The new, uh, the new Trump Hotel. Why not? Why not? I don't know. Like... I could see like cocaine being stamped with uh, Hunter Biden in uh, Ukraine or something. Pure Hunter, or uh, Hunter, uh, Hunter, Hunter, um, uh, uh, Art Deco by Hunter, and that's the stamp on the cocaine when you get it, your eight ball. Something like that. I don't know. Um, speaking of which, I think that the cartels are now in the car service industry, or they should be if they want to start laundering their money to make it clean, because. My Rangers are having so many fucking problems. I've now put more money into it than the current carry value. Um, um, it's it's awful. It's not worth what I've put into it. Servicing of that car has made Range Rover services a fortune. Has made me an idiot. That car. I don't know. Like, if you are a drug dealer, you should start buying up dealerships and servicing Range Rovers. That's one of the ways you should launder your money. It's not that big of a deal. HSBC only paid a billion dollars back in the day for a fine for literally admitting a bank that they were laundering money. They, they, I think they got a felony, but it's like they're a corporation, so nothing really happens. They just keep on doing their shit. They just paid a fine. It's fucking insane. You go to jail for the rest of your life if you help the cartels launder money. Or thirty years, or some 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 you know large number, but no, 
No, no. So cartels get into Range Rover servicing because you're gonna make a lot of money. The car is not so expensive and it doesn't work and it's constantly breaking down and air suspension, blah, 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 PVC valve. Oh, head gasket issues. Head gasket issues under 100,000 miles? Really? What? It's insane. What am I, a NASCAR driver? I'm just a soccer mom with a lead foot? No, it's crazy. If you have less than 80,000 miles in your car, you should have a head gasket. What are you, out of your mind? It's a 10,000, I don't even want to talk, I don't even want to talk about it. It's, it, it I get constipated. I, I, it, it's really, I don't want to, Metamucil, I'm too young for that. I don't want to go down, I'm just going to move on. Um, speaking of like property development, what if an elderly Asian man inhabited the vents of every house for sale in the United States. And when Blackstone Group buys the house, they cannot lease it to a black family. And they have to give the Asian man in the vent a baby Ruth bar in order to leave. Why not? I, I, I believe, why not? Why not? End Asian hate, right? Yeah. I didn't see the movie Parasite. I, can't, I, I, I thought of this idea to help you know the Asian community prosper because doing better on bank loans, getting raises, uh, graduating with higher degrees, uh, having higher credit scores, average income being higher, uh, still, they're very much oppressed. They are, they're still looked upon at convenience stores as, as though they are going to steal some Tic Tacs or perhaps smuggle some Pringles, and that cannot stand. Oh no, wait, that's, that's black people. That's black people. They own the convenience store. They're the racist ones. How does that work? I don't know. Um, uh, that reminds me, uh, we're sponsored today by uh, the Cochran Firm. You know, Johnny Cochran, the Cochran Firm. Uh, do you identify as a Korean but are British by birth? Have you experienced an intersectional car crash as a result of alienating you from your binary friends, or excuse me, non-binary friends, Joy Behar and Rachel Maddow? Contact the Cochran Firm. That, that is a thing, that's, that's a problem. That, that, that K-pop obsessed Brit, like, I just wanna let you know, like, I'm not actually British. I'm, no, I'm not, Brit I'm a Korean, in fact. Can, can, you, can you open that bottle? And then you can't, what's wrong? You, what do you have to do? I, I looked at your schedule this today. There's nothing going on. I don't understand what's your problem. I, you know, you have to calm down, all right? Last time you got to temper, you, you and Kale had a fight and the Bobbies came in and then like had to talk you down for 25 minutes because they're not allowed to carry tasers. You should, you should have been tasered if this was the States. So anyway, I am not, I'm not, I'm not, British, um, I'm, 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 I'm a Korean man now, all right? All right. I'm also, I'm also, um, I'm also a Capricorn, too. And uh, I, I, I'm not allergic to, to, to see shellfish anymore. Nope, I'm, and, and uh, uh, I, my, my credit score is 850. Yes, yes, and uh, uh, da, da, da. um, I am. I have a very large foot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's the thing. That's the thing that's gonna start fucking with people a little bit. Like, what if I identify as an illegal immigrant? What if I identify as a, uh, what if a felon identifies as a non-felon? Well, I can't get rid of the voice right now, I can't really do it, I kind of want to keep going with it. What if well, like, a different a different British person talking? So, let's change it up a little. So, r rather, actually, what if, uh, what if a, uh, what if a white man identifies as a black man? Conversely, what if you can get out of a hate crime by saying, I was black, it's a black on black crime, it's not actually the cross, I was a black man burning a cross on that black family's lawn at the time. That's what I identified as. It was not a hate crime. No, no, no. I just like 
perpendicular objects light them on fire. That's my art. That's how I express myself. I do apologize. I didn't realize that the house was occupied or owned. I thought it was public property. I thought it might have been a municipality fake house for sake of like utility. And it was on public land. So I apologize. I did not know. I did not know that Jamal lives there. I had no idea. Oh, well, yeah, I don't know. Well, you know, Jamal, um, Jamalcus, Mar uh, um, you know, I don't know. It's some, some one of those names. You know, this is, called, this is the name of someone's name, like Michael, John, Eric, Jamal, De Erica. I don't know. Di Cafe Latte. I had no idea that his wife Di Cafe Latte was that. I don't know. I'm just making it up. I didn't know that that's what her name is. I didn't know. Oh, I, I'm a black man. Scared, man. I, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. Uh, it's just like... If, why can't... If you can be a woman, a man, like, that's a sexual thing. Like, identify, like, like, like a spectrum of, like, within the confines of the binary two, man, woman. And, like, you're playing the non-binary, like, spectrum game. Like, I'm fully one. I am a woman. Transgender. I am a man. Transgender, right? I am a cisgender. I am one of the two. I am... Which is so derogatory. Cisgender is like, yeah, like, you just like, you have like penis and vagina and like, that's just the thing that that's how you, weird. So, like, so, I don't know. Ew. So, uh, it's just weird. Like, you can't, like, race white and black are not like here. It's like, there's like genetic stuff. But then there's genetic stuff with like XY chromosomes. But that's put by the wayside. Generic heritage moving outside of a framework of a continent. But then again, you can be live in America and have Dutch ancestry. Another person can have Australian ancestry, and they both can be trans. So what what is the difference? I don't really see it. The problem is people are gonna start to get angry because you start to identify groups or use class identification, like groupings of socioeconomically impoverished people that classify themselves based on their race because it's been so popular and in vogue and empowering. And then you have people start to identify themselves as that group. There's time, I mean, white people by proxy almost do it. Like, I am so sorry, I feel so bad. You know what? You know what? I, I, just, I, I apologize for us white people, okay? Bitch, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You should shut that shit down, man. Like, I don't give a big as fuck. Stop talking about that, motherfucker. I'm a man. I can do what I... F I don't know. Sorry. I don't, I don't know what that is. I'm sorry. I'm trying to be... I don't know. That that's, that was, like, superbly racist. I gotta... I don't know. Um, like... I don't know. This... Bleh! What if the, uh... You, you, you make a deal for the Asian person then to come back, like, a couple weeks later for the Baby Ruth bar, and then, like, you stiff them... And then, like, they start following you around, like, wherever you go. They, like, find you. Like, you pay me my A, my baby whoopa now! You pay my baby whoopa! You pay me, baby whoop! And then, like, you, like, move to another state. And then you go into a convenience store. And that day, right, when you're about to, like, buy your orange Tic Tacs, the person in the store is, like, Asian. And they go, like, oh, you no pay. Baby Roopa. Oh, bad. Oh, bad on you. Bye, bye. Sorry. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that, that, would be, that would be interesting if that happened. That would be interesting. It would be interesting if, like, Asians that owned convenience stores when you don't didn't wear your mask during the pandemic, they just would beat you with a broom. Like, they didn't take shit because they didn't want to be closed down. Like, they're very strict. So they just treated customers like they're, like, children. Like, you know, Tiger Moms. Like, okay, you, you gotta score three. You have cello to four, violin to five, uh, basketball to six, uh, cello again to, to eight, uh... Taekwondo till 10, Kung Fu till 11, Calculus advanced till World Cup and more. You go to bed for two hours, you wake up and walk five miles. But now! Um, and they just start like beating, like, you know, like arrogant people. Like, I don't really feel like we're wearing a mask. Like, they Kung Fu, they're out. 
<laughs> don't feel like wearing a mask. How you feel your ass on floor? <laughs> you know, it would be funny though. Like all the progressive assholes that still wear masks, like um, people wear masks for different reasons still. You know, I get it. To fight Fauci's emails, not wearing an N95, regular cloth, they just do it. They feel better about themselves. Sometimes they do it as like a virtue signaling, which is obnoxious. But the people that do that, and there are a lot of them, if, they, if it comes to pass that the Delta variant becomes impervious to the vaccines and we don't close anything down, we don't shut down small businesses, we just let things go, you know, as they are. No more, you know, no, no, like $1,400, you know, money printing per person. No, uh, just nothing changes. People lost their life savings. It's like, ah, oh, sorry, sorry, we're just not going to do it this time around. Fuck it. The, if you say to the liberals that you also don't have to wear a mask this time, they're going to lose their shit. There's going to be people that are like fighting, like, the Delta variant killed my son. He was hit by a bus. And the bus driver had COVID. He shouldn't have been working that day. Just like Bin Bin's mom. If you got that joke from last episode of the Go GoFundMe. If you have given money to my GoFundMe for my mother, I do appreciate it. Yes, she was hit by a bus. Yes, the bus driver did have COVID. Thank you very much. Raised 700000 so so far. It has helped me tremendously with my Range Rover fees. Thank you. Anyway, yeah, I was like... They're just going to be like that. They're going to look at you like a second class citizen. Like, they're going to like start pe petitioning municipalities. Like, they should have their own water fountains. Go to their own schools, the unvaccinated and the, un the maskless. They're disgusting. They do that. They look down on you. They're all, they're all in next door like, I saw someone. Guys, I saw someone. I saw a Mexican on the corner the other day. And I also saw someone not wearing a mask. I don't know who to call the police on first. Okay, by the way, also, I have this fantastic, fantastic sofa. It's by Baker. It was $2,500. It's very, very nice. Um, Chase Lounge, also very, very nice. I'm giving it away for $65. Also, I saw black the other day. Kind of weird. So, like, uh, yes, it's it's just, like, they're so... I had so When it first was going on, I had someone at the grocery store. And it was kind of weird because you don't, like... I've gotten like five fights. I don't know how to fight. Like you know, I I'm, I I kind of like bull rush people. Like because using use my size. I don't like have any training whatsoever. But this guy at the grocery store was like, "Where where your where, like like wear a mask, you jerk!" And then he like ran off down the aisle like five aisles away, skipping with his with his cart. I went to go fought like go see like. Ask him, like, hey, can you, that's kind of inappropriate. Like, there's not, I'm not required to. And, um, and he just, like, kind of, like, he's like, get away from me, and, like, ran away with this cart. Like, literally, like, running with his cart. Like, he wanted to, I'm just like, this is a time where, like, he didn't have to wear one. I was just like, it was, I almost wonder if he was planted there to, like, create the urgency, because it wasn't yet, there were people not wearing masks, you know, at stores. So I was wondering if that was the thing. It was really weird. Like, are you like a government plant to like socially engineer this conversion to acceptability and like giving up the civil liberty there? But like, the store can decide to do whatever it wants. In fact, the store did decide not to require masks. Uh, if you have, if you're a children under 12 or you have a pre-existing condition, which is unfalsifiable. So people would just say that and they can't really do anything. Um, basically unenforceable, right? Um, based on like some sort of like commonality of torts. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just the craziness. Like, I think the government, at some point with the Delta variant shit, if it pr it's proven that the va vaccines don't work against it, are going to round up the unvaccinated that refuse to get vaccinated, send them to some reform camp in Flint, Michigan, where the only thing on TV is like The View, and Joy Behar saying, this is why you gotta wear your mask, okay? And then Whoopi going like... Shalom. And then uh, they have to all drink water that's the color of pee. That's 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 the deal. And then maybe like uh, maybe what's his name from heavyweights um, comes in like forces them to run like twenty miles. You have to assume most of these people are like southern conservatives and they're like overweight and fat. So this is gonna be just like heavyweights. Pergus, the Pergus system. Yeah, the Pergus. That was so good. I should, is that a movie you think that like carries over? 
Like, you know, like, you don't want to ruin, like, some movies from their past. Like, that one... A couple movies I remember from my childhood that made me really sad. Like, The Land Before Time. I think about them. There's, like, a negative rem remembrance. But then if I saw it today, would I still feel that? Like, Lion King... My mom would play the soundtrack Lion King and I would take naps in the afternoon. I got like really, really sad during those. Uh, I had weird feelings of like jealousy when I was a kid of like if a kid neighbor got a new bike, it like made me really a weird. I, my life child was so messed up. So I had these weird, I don't know. I I don't know. I, 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 I can't really complain about some things, but like. I don't know. I think I was like a really emotionally distraught child who's really, really quiet and lonely and introverted and confused and basically ignored because of my testing and everything. Oh, he's fine. Focus on the other one. <sighs> Not enough Adderalls for Tara and the whatever the fuck they put my brother on to keep him focused. I swear that he looked like he was high on pot when he was like 12 on like 80 gram milligrams of Adderall. Like, this is what you gotta put him on. He's just like, huh? It's like, he's gotten worse. Get him, put him on like, I don't know, something else. This is, put, I don't know, this is weird. It's like, it's like he's like he's like retarded now. <laughs> like, oh, is this supposed to help him focus? It didn't do anything for him. I was like, 80 milligrams of Adderall? That would make an elephant like, I don't know, like get, do do better on their SATs than the first time they took it. <laughs> it's just fucking weird, man. Like, I don't know, they, like, they could like cheat by like accessing the person next to them's brain without actually looking at the paper on 80 milligrams of Adderall. Jesus. Psychology, psychology doesn't make any, like it's such a pseudoscience. It's like, and part of it's, it's, it's a moral agency problem because like they give you a drug that doesn't necessarily work for you that you have, you have to come back, pay them money for them to adjust it. And then you see them every every month or so, and they like adjust your medication, but give you no actual therapy. When the real problem, probably associating your attention issues and stuff like that, might be stress and anxiety from childhood has manifested itself in young like young adulthood or young adolescence or post adolescence adulthood, twenty five to early thirties, and you're like dealing with some sort of stress. And you, sometimes you notice when you take theanine that you feel focused, calm, and relaxed, and happier, but you just don't realize that. It's almost like a placebo thing, you think, in your head. Like, oh, I just drank coffee. It happens to have theanine, and, and the coffee's caffeine, that's what I need to stay focused, and that associates itself with a stimulant, just like my Adderall. But in fact, I haven't taken Adderall for this thing. I haven't taken Adderall for a lot of them. I was taking Adderall sometimes to do shows, edit all, so I could stay up till 6 o'clock in the morning, and I realized I was so pressed. I was so uncomfortable. The show was like like prescribed Adderall, like, 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 it was like, you know, you're going to work 18, 19 hours in the day and you're going to edit a show of hours of footage after the fact and add the video things. It's really hard. I need to get up for work in the morning. Like, yeah, that's, that's not, yeah. And it's like, but that, it takes some of the fun of what I like to do, just talk and chill. And it also takes away my ability to think abstractly a little bit. And it also lasts. So I think I still have a little bit of the Adderall brain from yesterday and, I, you know, prescribed again. Something. I think I have a little bit of the Coke brain from, no, it's prescribed. And uh, I was doing a lot of, um, a lot of work on Teva Pharmaceuticals and, and another company called PBF Energy. I was looking at their balance sheet and their working capital requirements and what the bond prices were and like the like Teva's bond prices are four year high. PBFs have been faltering a little bit. I think this has to go with a debt, 77% debt ratio and some working capital concerns going forward with the spreads from crude and the RNIs, or RNCs, whatever the hell you call them, the, the, the subsidies for uh, bio, uh, biofuels they're forced to pay. And, they, and Biden today, the Biden administration kicked back those subsidies down the road. Like we're not gonna rule on them as to like what's required for 2021 or how much they have to pay per barrel of crude to refine. <sighs> Just, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Sometimes if you're doing that stuff and you join a bunch of other stuff, Adderall can help you like stay, like give you the energy to do it. It doesn't necessarily improve your performance. I think it just keeps you alert. I think the delusion about Adderall is the dopamine, dopamine, dopaminergic effect that makes you feel like you are Superman. And it's almost like a high, it's ret like retarded. You're not a better you on Adderall. I, 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 my brain works better in problem solving. Like if you if, like if you ever went to business school and took some math, the math is eight, you know basic algebra, but some 
some of the math that you might get into when you start to look at like um, the Edo's calculus and a little bit of the, um, the quantitative stuff you'll look at in differential equations. This can be daunting, but not even that. This like my, like some of the coding work that I've done in computer engineering, going from right to left, uh, the, the logical inference of the syntax, like learning the language, it can be overwhelming to like start that at like eight, nine o'clock at night and review and kind of like go through and program some like say some basic math problems in that regard of, of, of like, like what is the decay rate of X, you know? Like, and it, it's like, that's, it seems, it's very simple objectively for, 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 the, for the subject, but learning that, it's very daunting. It's very daunting, it's brand new. And for someone whose brain has been as calcified as mine, neuroplasticity starting to fade as you get older, Later in the game, learning computer engineering, um, mainly to talk to engineers and have like kind of like a like a kind of common you know verbiage you know just so you like not trying to be better than them. I don't want to be. I just want to I want to have like a baseline understanding and like get to the point where I could like program a financial website like Elon Musk did right you know when he was before PayPal like that that type of level of understanding and then maybe I find some sort of correlation to that in the markets. But really, I already see the application. That's why I'm doing it. So in the real world, I just hire engineers when the time comes. Um, so it's probably a colossal waste of time. But I don't want to be completely inept in that capacity. It's a, it's a, it's a beautiful art. I mean, it really is. Also, the people that are making tens of millions of dollars hacking and like you know, rot, like ripping off computers, Bitcoin manipulation. I mean. Bitcoin's design as a tax haven, you know, growth asset, uh, you know, fuck it, you know, if, why not? Why not? Why not, baby? I think it was hilarious. Janet Yellen, like, wants to do, I voted to go to, like, finance up that much, but Janet Yellen wants to create stable coins or attached to currencies or attached to, like, um, central bank assets, which I'm like, why do you want to do that? Because you see, you see, like, a popular industry vertical and stable coins because the price instability of Bitcoin right now and other um, altcoins. Alt you didn't realize the reason they were starting in the first place is to avoid. It's DeFi, decentralized. They don't want central bank control. It's like going to the Ellen DeGeneres show backstage and not getting raped. It doesn't make any sense at all. At all. Very funny how she thinks that's a product that would actually be pushed. And I guess the first buyers of that to create liquidity would be central banks. And then that would be the only buyers because no one in hell is buying that crap. A stable coin? It's an ROIC manipulative like growth measure of tax avoidance. It, it, it has these multiple variations of, and then also the obscurity of just being a little bit opaque when it comes to transactional costs um, or transactional um, um, uh, completions, uh, particularly Monero and, and others, but also like just the bit way to scale things and, and to kind of like layer. Um, it's, I mean, people have, the amount of like unknown millionaires to the government, to the IRS, unbelievable. But uh, I don't know, uh, crazy, cray cray. God, she wants to create, that's, that's her deal, man. I want like, I want, I want like it to come out that. Like, you know, like all those twinkish looking movie stars like Zac Efron that like appeared on Ellen DeGeneres over and over again. I want it to come out that Ellen used to peg these, like they're all gay. Ellen used to peg them and at parties at like Brian Singer, you know, sex parties and while well, they, uh, you know, worship Molt the Owl God and gave like half their salary for the year for um, uh, saying, you know, my Saint Cloud Two and uh, Homeward Bound Seven or whatever the fuck movies he made. I don't know what he makes. And uh, and she used videos of pegging Zac Efron against him to have him keep coming back on the show. And that comes out later. And that was like one of her things. And also like their the Portia de Rosie child they allegedly adopted. No, it was Zac Efron's sperm. It was also part of the requirement of, of not releasing that information because it would like kill his leading man status. Why so many gay men in Hollywood? Not not Hugh Jackman. Not not him. No no no. But someone else. You know other people. 
uh yeah, you know they don't come because it like affects this sort of like masculine kind of bullshit social idea of of what it means to be a leading man which is being heterosexual which is pretty much nonsense you ever seen a power top same shit man they're they're very aggro i mean who you kind of wanted to like I feel people that do one man shows on Broadway probably not the best way to protect yourself. I don't know, it's just a thought. But you know, once you establish yourself as one thing, you know, wife twenty years your senior, no kids in your fifty. Once you're established like that, I guess you can do whatever you want. You know, you're protected. No one's coming out about it. Speculation, but no one's going to run it in the, in the press. You'll get killed by the blade. It'll like cut your head off. You talk shit about someone sacred like Wolverine. Um, no, yeah, it called Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor's leg, man? Well, I don't understand that, man. Well, why would you do a fight if you have a broken leg, if you're Conor McGregor? You don't do exhibitions as a semi-retired professional fighter, right? You don't do them at injured. You don't have to. It's like you you skip the line, your ranking's secured, you set up the fight, you have the power of pay-per-view, cash flow and, and market share to generate this income. Why would you risk it? It's not a normal UFC fight. Did you have to pay Poirier some sort of like breakup fee if you didn't go through with it? Just postpone it a couple of weeks or a month. Let your leg heal. Dude, I don't understand that at all. Why would you train knowing the last fight you got decimated and risk that? It doesn't make any sense to me. Other thing I wonder is like, did Poirier know? Did Poirier know that Connor was injured and just go after that leg? I don't know. The way Connor keeps that leg forward he like uh, I think left leg, yeah, left leg forward. I think so. It's weird. Cause I don't, one of the I don't know. I'm, I'm not I'm not Joe Rogan, but like one of them, he really like has a wide base, and it's just prime to slam that chin. And it, like once you wonder, like, did he know that? Was this something that like came out of Cam was leaked, or just like you know he's just a leg kick guy, and Dustin Poirier is really good at it, and so he, he implemented it as part of his game plan, and it just so happens, yeah, he actually. Connor happened to have a stress fracture and he decided to fight anyway. Why? The whole purpose of the fight is money and, and maybe maybe your legacy and getting up two to one and in, in, in the trilogy. So why would you risk it being not being 100%? Because no one knows that you're not 100%. Even if you say afterwards you weren't 100%, no one's going to believe you if you lose. Unless your leg snaps like that. And they're like, oh, well, that was pretty bad. That's the one thing. Because it wasn't like a real win. It's like, oh yeah, I'll submit him, or oh, TKO, yeah, well, TKO, because he's have a fucking leg. He's like, like, his bone became his foot. Like, his, sh like, you get what I'm saying? Like, like, his shin became like, like a peg leg. Like, I am a What? That's not a real win. I don't think, I don't think you should win a fight if someone's leg gets ripped off. Like, that's, like... If a lion jumped into this cage and just tore Dustin Poirier's head off, that shouldn't be a TKO win for Conor McGregor. Doesn't make any sense. It's like, oh, well, the lion. Yeah, but well, it's technically, you know, Conor really did well in that fight. Yeah, but the lion. No, well, really? The head, once the head came off, and, you know, Conor might have had his, you know, his presence might have summoned the lion, and therefore Conor was in direct you know, you know, control and the fight really went to him because he summoned the line using his magical powers of I Irish wisdom and, and mysticism and the line took off Dustin Poirier's head and good for him. Most people cannot summon the line no more. We've, we've lost that part of ourselves, you know, the ayahuasca, the Amazon, you know, that, 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 that part of our brain, the third eye has been calcified over, but not Connor. Good for him on summoning the fucking line. Good for him. Or this is a fucking leprechaun. Like, 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 Leprechaun guy, the real Leprechaun from the scary movies from like the early 90s and 80s. Like, that guy comes in and then chops his leg off or throws some, like, gold coins at him. And, like, they go right through him and, like, 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 uh, like ninja stars. Or, like, uh, the Asian guy with the hat from Bond. It is something like that. That would have been interesting. He can summon Leprechauns that throw ninja star gold coins. I want my gold. And then it's like, no. And then it goes right through you. <laughs> And Connor's like, fucking right. And he's like, yeah, Connor. Like, yeah, Leprechaun, all right. Let's go back to Dubai and run some more laps. And I don't know, work on our, our sunburn. Because <laughs> he doesn't tan. Have you ever seen that guy tan? I never looked tan. 
This is weird. It's really weird. You think all the time he spends out running the sun and getting prepped. It's like they did that video once and he doesn't do shit. He stays inside the whole time. He's dead. The guy's white as fuck. Irish, but I can tan. I can do it. I don't want the fuck you can't. Call him. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know, man. It's cray cray. I'm back. Sorry. Uh, I had to go outside for a second. The guy working on my Range Rover, aka future cartel cash flow positive higher margin vehicle. Um, it's seven cylinder, is no compression. The rest have no compression. It's not looking good. Well, the 60% and all the rest, seven has none. So um, it's a seven, maybe a five and a half, four and a half cylinder car, net net on average. Now, eight V8 supercharged, worthless waste of money, probably needs a new engine, under 80,000 miles. Yeah. Bullshit. They don't make them like they used to. I'm not certain that they ever made them, because everything I heard about Range Rovers that are older are um, disastrous. It's, it's, it's like a superficial thing. You just think they're cool, the British, you know, they, they, they're, they might be future K-pop. The car might identify as Korean, and that's why, it, I wish it did, it would work. A fucking Kia or something. Is that Korean? I don't know. Um, God, it's it's really really frustrating. Um, yeah, that's. I don't even want to talk about it. Um, what I want to talk about is this weird doll. My friend wanted me to sell two of them. Actually, they look exactly the same. One first place in 1983 at the Austin Doll Society. Um, it's now worth eight thousand dollars. The pair. It would be worth more if it wasn't dressed as though it's from a Japanese internment camp. I mean, if you're going to buy something like this, $5 at a flea market, buy the parents for the daughter, wouldn't you think you get something like a bit more, I don't know, like like geisha-ish or something? Or some, some, this is like, are her parents communists? What is this? This is a horrible, what a weird toy. Also, they can't play with it. It's on a fucking stand. You know, Give me my baby Ruth. I find you, I kill you. It'd be funny, it's like, um, this was like, he like tells, tells the daughter the story like, uh, a long time ago, I bought a house and I didn't, I told the Asian in the vent that I was gonna give the baby Ruth bar in one week's time, but I didn't have the money. And he said, okay, I see you here. One week. And then he crawled back into the vent. But he never showed up again. The, the, the father of my friend never showed up. And he, he ran for years. And he started carving these dolls as like some sort of like symbolic gesture of apology. Went back to the house. It was demolished. He never heard of the Asian person again until one day, one day, they came calling. And, um, well... That's why she was raised by her grandparents. The the Asian in the vent killed her father, mother, and, and little brother, um, um, Tyson, uh, with, with a samurai sword. Um, or maybe some sharpened rice cakes. And, uh, well, this is just a reminder. Pay your debts. <laughs> I don't know what that's going to say. I don't know, man. This, this... It's such a weird request. Don't you? She's like, hey, you don't have anything to do. You know about money, though. Can you try to sell my doll? What do you think this is worth? If you cared, wouldn't you put some effort forth if you were excited about it at all? But you know you're not because it's dressed like this. Apparently, if this was dressed in some of the other possible outfits from that same time period, it could be worth like 20 grand. You can buy a key with that or a, um, a used cartel Range Rover. It'd be funny if they start selling them and they break down, they service them, and make money that way too. Uh, it's like my my mom's side of the family with the air conditioners. Like they, they sell these giant units, some of them are sixty five thousand dollar compressors. They all break down in the summer and they make money from servicing. It's a scam, man. It's a huge scam. Oh, I don't know. She also told me about her friend that married uh, uh, her uh, her father married the mother, and the mother is uh, legally retarded. Apparently, you're allowed to, as a normie, to, to marry a retarded person. And, um, I don't know. Maybe that's good news, I guess. I'm fuck, fucking psyched for next weekend, then. Because, you know, I'm going to uh, Marble Ridge, and uh, I was going to bring in my Range Rover and try to get some, um, I don't know, some sort of tax benefit. Uh, Marble Ridge is a uh, uh, 
center for the developing and disabled you give in your used car and they give you some sort of like charitable deduction token or something like that. And somehow that helps the, the retards. I don't know what they do. They work on the cars, restore them. I, I have no idea what, what the skill set is there, but it's, it's all about giving their used cars to the center and they you help them somehow. I don't know. It might be a scam. I don't know. But at least from my perspective, I'm doing a good thing, I think. Anyways, um, yeah. What if, what if instead of sharks eating sailors when the USS Indianapolis was uh, attacked by the torpedoes and all the sailors went out and the sharks ate them, you know, Hiroshima and Nagasaki delivered the bomb, the Hiroshima bomb you know, from, from Jaws. Um, what if there were not sharks, but they were just trans-exclusionary radical feminists that swam up to the sailors and the sailors were like you know some women have penises and then boom um the trans-exclusionary radical feminists or turfs as they're called bite off their heads that would be interesting i think that's interesting that like if you're gay and you love cock like it's like your favorite thing you're transphobic but no one talks about that but if you're straight and you just want to be like, or you're, you're a lesbian, for example, in this circumstance, and you just want to like date women that have a vagina, you're trans exclusionary and a radical feminist. It's weird. I think it's weird because Title IX has a differentiation protection for women versus men. But in this circumstance, there is no differentiation because the women that are one version of chromosomal um, composition are now the opposite. Even though they've nothing has changed, they've designated themselves, regardless of genetics, as women. And you have like people in the Olympics that are like, you know, that, that weightlifter from Australia or something like that. It's like now competing as a, it's fucking crazy, man. It's, is it fair? It's not fair. It's not fair, man. Not fair. It's not fair. Like if my sister wanted to lift weights and, and eat, eat, rug munch herself to death, more power to her. But um, I don't have a sister, and I don't care that much about it. But if I did, I'd feel bad that she was losing her track meets to a former dude that used to run track that designates himself as a woman. I think that's like a frustrating point. Never mind the rights of the person that want that defines themselves as a woman. It's still frustrating. Let's just separate it. It's an innate, genuine feeling that's not bigoted or ignorant. I feel like it sucks because I know that if that person had not been born biologically, or rather didn't have a certain chromosome, that they would not have the advantages that they do, and I would have a better chance at winning. Objectively speaking, that's true. So what's, how, is it, how is it homophobic or transphobic? It comes from, everything about the same is pure. And I want my fake sister to be able to win her track meets and to compete equitably. She can't because Michael Johnson, four-time Olympic gold medalist, has decided to define himself as a woman at 45 years old and just slay ass and win and start, I don't know, appearing on Wheaties boxes in his 50s. Because he probably could if he defined himself as a woman started running like the 100 meters against women at his age or someone else. I don't know. I can't remember all the people. Like, uh, like, like it's crazy. It's crazy. What if, what, if, what if Michael Phelps designates himself as a woman and restarts his career? Didn't he just retire? No, nope, start all over again as a woman. Why not? The cash flow potential? You know, like how much money you'd make? Oh my God. He might, if he, if he, could, pr if he could pretend that it was genuine, because I don't think it's that genuine all the time. I don't know what I'm going to say, but like there is a huge money factor. Um, 
for some people. I'm sure that there will be a trans person that actually trans that's competing. Let's just say objectively speaking that there's a possibility of that. I know that sounds awful to think about, but yes, God, he just, he just starts, you know, this is like 12 gold medals again. It's as if it's like another hundred million dollars or God knows how they're, oh, it's so good. It's like, good for you, work the system, work the system. And then you're gonna be like, I don't think they's really trans. <gasps> how could you say that? Mm. It's been a long day. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about my car. It's been a long day. Um, um, I don't think, I don't think I can enjoy sex with a woman that calls her underwear knickers. Oh, 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 yeah, oh, 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 give it, to, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, oh, oh. I can't, I can't do that for the British accent. They have to, they have to have sex in like an American, a not a British accent, like like Adele singing. Like it has to be like that when they're having sex. I can't deal with like, like that accent. Like, oh, lot. oh, you give it to me a lot, so good. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, no, I can't. No. Uh, I, oh, I like like the whole idea of Karen Knightley having sex with her sounds really appealing until I hear her like. British moaning. Oh, 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 oh. It's, like, it's like having sex with a dead person or something, or a deaf person. Sorry, <laughs> I don't know. Like, oh, oh. Uh, no, I'm sorry. That's awful. I, well, they can't hear it. They don't know how annoying it is. Uh, it's really annoying. Uh, my JV basketball team played against some school for the deaf, like Gal you Dead or something, and we lost. We lost to a group of dead kids. That happened. That that happened. We blamed it on the grunting. It was just very distracting. <clears throat> Jake, shut, calm down. This is like tennis. It's very annoying when women do that. It's like, so, it's like, you know, some people say it's anti feminist. It's like, hey, women can grunt, men do it. It's like, oh, well, it's not, fem it's not feminine. So that's the, no, it's just annoying sometimes. They do it to time their shot sometimes it, the, when they were juniors and they, so they, but like, it's like, ugh. it's also not that, not particularly ladylike at times. And some women have proposed that it's not that and sort of obnoxious. Maybe they do it because it distracts them, but hey, tough shit, you gotta deal with the grunting. But for me, if I fuck any of them and they're British, I'll, I'll need them to change that shit up to like an American, like, oh, oh yeah? Or maybe yeah, Japanese, <laughs> oh yeah? Something like that. Sorry, I think I, I stole that, um, I stole that sound from, um, from, from, from Aziz on his show on, um, on Netflix, the girl that he was dating. I think she's like, 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 oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, that'd be good. I used to do this thing where like, I had like my O face, like, uh, like Kelsey's like, I'm a midget or something. I'm a little, like I'm Tyron, Tyron Lannister. And I'm just like at the bottom of the bed looking up. <laughs> and she just sees this face groaning. It's like right at her belly button. That's about as far as I can go. Or I pretend to be my friend that has Asperger's and we're having sex. I'm just like, oh. <laughs> It's actually very similar to the person that are deaf. Yeah, same thing. Uh, it's just like, yeah, it's t t t penis, <laughs> penis. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. I can multiply large numbers. Oh, uh, four thousand five. <sighs> I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna go mow the lawn. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Six. It was, I, I don't know, OCD and I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. It's it's a long day. I don't know. I I think I like I paused the show to deal with the car, and now I'm just like I'm just off. I'm just off. Well, let's talk about something. One one thing. One thing I want to talk about. University of college. University of Chicago student, a rising senior. Um, what's this guy's name? Uh, I want to make sure I get it right. Um, hold on. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. He was shot, he was shot. Um, Max Lewis, Max Solomon Lewis, was shot in the back of the neck while at a subway stop. Um, third year student, uh, uh, nerdy school, University of Chicago, very, very nerdy. Um, double major, uh, computer science and economics, super nerdy, but was paralyzed from the neck down. His parents flew in, 
and um, they uh, he, he came out of a coma or something, and he's, he asked what happened by blinking. It's all he could do. It's an awful story. Um, and, and, he, and he said, if I have to live like this, pull the plug, basically. It's a horrible story. Um, 100 people died July 4th weekend in Chicago. 100 people were shot, or, or shot, and he was one of them. Um, and uh, Lori Lightfoot, uh, a.k.a. Beetlejuice, because she, the mayor of Chicago, has asked the federal police force to come in to police her city because she can't do her fucking job. A nerd was killed. That was gonna, I don't know, maybe knock off Mark Zuckerberg with some sort of like startup or something. And it was taken from us too early because some bitch wants to push her financial backers, the people to put in her office, the whole federalized police force thing that says, we can't police our own city, please send federal reinforcements, which is really ridiculous. It's like martial law. Handle your city, do your fucking job. I volunteer that we. Chicagoans cunt punt that bitch whenever we see her. Beetlejuice, your days are numbered. We're gonna cunt punt you whenever you're out. We're gonna all wear steel toed boots and we're just gonna cunt punt you. And you're gonna have to get security services and we're, still, we're just gonna do it wherever you are because it's ridiculous. You're an embarrassment and you should be ashamed of yourself. Um, you're, you're like, like, you're not doing your job. Your job is to protect the citizens of Chicago. You don't like say, hey, it's not our fault, racism, blah, blah, blah. What? What does that have to do with anything? It, it's not this kid that was killed, not with most of the shootings. It, 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 what is the issue? And why, why, why do you need like, the military or the federal police or the FBI to come in? And it's crazy. Day to day, you know, like FBI agents walking a beat. What? what handle your shit. <sighs> Fuck that bitch. I don't know. I hate her. I think she's awful. She's, 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 she's killing Chicagoans. What number am I at? I don't know how long has it been. Um, oh, I just, uh, I don't know. Click subscribe down below because it really helps the algorithm. Talk amongst yourselves in the comments section. I will talk to you later. Bin Bin out.